Example one, pay by the ounce frozen yogurt. A new soft serve frozen yogurt store opened this summer that sells its yogurt at a price based upon the total weight of the yogurt and its toppings in a dish. Um, this store would be similar to Orange Leaf. Um, I know that one's here in town where you can go and get as much ice cream as you want. Each member of Isabella's family weighed his dish and this is what they found. Determine if the cost is proportional to the weight. <clears throat> Alright, in order for us to answer this question, we need to understand what this word proportional means. When we're talking about something being proportional, we're talking about it having the same value. So I'm going to write here a definition before we even answer our question. So proportional means having the same value. So we are comparing our cost, let me get a different color here, we are comparing our cost to the weight. So as I write this out, I'm going to write it exactly like that, so cost to the weight. So if we look at the question that it's asked, it says, does everyone pay the same cost per ounce? How do you know? So again, that's our cost per or to the ounce or the weight. <clears throat> All right, so let's start with our first person here. Their cost was $5 and they got 12.5 ounces. Now we're going to treat this like um, a fraction or a division problem, so we're going to take and simplify this down to 1. In order to do that, we would divide by 12.5. So if we're looking to make this bottom a 1, we would do 12.5 divided by 12.5. And what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So if we take 5 divided by 12.5, you can use your calculator for this, you get 0.4, or 40 cents per ounce. All right, our second one here, our cost was 4 and our weight was 10. Again, to get this to a 1, so we're finding that unit rate, we would take 10 divided by 10, and what we do the bottom, we have to do the top. So we're going to do 4 divided by 10, which again gives us 0.4 or 40 cents. <clears throat> All right, let's do this third one. Our cost is $2, and our weight was 5 ounces. So we're going to divide 2 divided by 5, which is 0.4, and then let's do our last one here. Our cost of $3.20 divided by 8 ounces, which, when we divide, is 0.4. So does everyone pay the same cost per ounce? Our answer would be yes. They all pay 40 cents. Per ounce. Alright, so now we're going to use this example and point out a couple of other things. Um, <clears throat> let's get to some more algebraic things that we're going to be looking at. When we're talking about this amount that they all pay per ounce, so if we go back up here to the table, if we were to take their weight, so how much they measure it as, and we were to times it by 0.4, we would end up with a cost of 5. So really, we're doing this same thing, but a little bit backwards. We're taking the, the weight, and we're timesing it by the cost, and we're going to, or the cost per ounce, our unit rate, and then we're going to get the amount they paid. So this is times 0.4. This one is the same thing, times 0.4. And this one's the same thing. We would times it by 40 cents. Times it, oop, I forgot my time sign right there. Times it by 40 cents to get our answer. When we have something like this, that means that our, um, um, our cost is proportional to the weight because we're, when we divide those out, we get that same value. Now this value right here has a special name and its special name is called the K value. <clears throat> so you're gonna to wanna to add this in for a definition. 
Now we've talked in um, other previous classes before, they said, why is it the letter K? Well, I've done some research and there is no actual record of why they chose the letter K. It just is. So that's the accepted letter. <clears throat> and sometimes in math, um, if that's the accepted way to do something and that's what every mathematician agrees to recognize, then that's what we use. So this is one of those cases. All right, so this K value is what we call our constant of proportionality. Constant of proportionality. Okay, so these two words mean the same thing. Now, if we talk about a constant, we're talking about something that stays the same. So this value that we multiplied by stayed the same. So we would say that our K value is 0.4. So now let's think about how that fits into what we used. We were taking our weight and timesing it by 0.4 to get the cost. So if we try to set this, start setting these up in two equations, which we're going to look at a lot, we're talking about taking, in this case, the weight and we're timesing it by 0.4 and that's giving us the cost. Now seeing this set up is going to be very important and we're going to do a lot of it so don't get scared we're going to do this a lot. Alright let's go to our next one.